Hey there! One of the members of our group wanted me to do a tutorial on editing points. So I'm going to do a design, uh, clean water with a little water drop. Uh, so I'm going to delete that and show you how to do it. So first thing I wanted to do was to make a circle. To do a perfect circle, you do shift and then drag. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but for this one, I kind of wanted it perfect. Um, and you could do a couple things. You can just double click with your cursor or go to this edit points. So I'm going to highlight that edit points. Now I want this right here to be a point, but if I move these cursors on their own, you can see both sides move and I want it to be a, uh, I don't want both sides to move. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to click this button. I like to work up here because over here doesn't always show up. So I usually work up here. So I'm going to click that. It is corner as you can see over here. And drag that side down, that side down, and then I want to drag this up a little. Now, I might want to drag this down a little more because I'm looking more like an egg than a water drop. There. And there's my water drop. I'm going to fill it in just so it is easier to see. Now I'm going to type clean water. Now font or anything that's not simplified, this was pretty simple. That was considered simplified. Anything that's not simple, you have to do a few extra steps. So first thing I want to do with font is convert it to path because I don't want it font format anymore. So I can't edit this font now. I did that a little too soon. So I just did control Z to undo what I did because I want to change it to this font. All right, now I'm gonna convert it to a path. But now you'll be able to see I can't edit any of the points. So what I have to do is click this, which simplifies. Now I can do them all individually. I'm going to close this text. So now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to zoom in so I can see a little better. And I want to move these two points. Now I can move them separately, but I don't want to do that. I want the whole thing to come down. So I pressed shift and click those two. And I'm going to move it down wherever I feel like it. I think I want it there. Now I want to bring this out about there. But now I have another pro dilemma. I want this to come back towards itself and kind of curve in. So I can do make curve. That didn't work out. Let's try that again. Sometimes things like this do happen. Okay. I could have just accidentally added a point, which to add a point, you just click like that and you can see I added a point. So let's try this again. Oh, smooth curve. There we go. Now I want to make it flat. As you can see, a lot of it's trial and error um, until you get what you're 
looking for. I'm going to bring that in. And it looks like that now. Now I'm going to come back out. Highlight it all. And all I did was drag my cursor across. Um, clicked and dragged. And I'm going to fill it in. Now, I like to group at this point. You can right click group or I do control G. I like my shortcuts. I'm going to make that smaller. And I want that in the front, so I'm going to bring to front. And so that's pretty much it. I kind of did that a little farther. You can go back. So now that I simp I grouped it, if I want to do it, uh, any editing again, I either have to ungroup or simplify it again. So I'm going to zoom in because I decided I don't like how that is. I feel like I, I brought that down too far. And there you have it. So a little bit on editing, editing the points, moving more than one point. Uh, you can also, if you made a circle or any shape, with points really and you wanted to break the point you can break it and now you can see I can move this all on its own it's no longer a circle and now I just put it back together just by overlapping them as you can see and I still have it Let's see. If I wanted just one side straight, there's a straight line. Now only one side moves, and the other side will be a straight line. So that's the basic part of editing points. If you have something to edit, um, or a couple points you want to edit, that's what you do. You want the least amount of points possible, otherwise it starts getting a little complicated. So I'm going to show you one that is quite, has quite a few points to it. I believe that one does. Oh, that one only has a few points. Okay. Alright, this one I know has a lot of points. I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to convert it to a path, going to simplify it, and you can see those points. That makes it a little harder to edit, especially because those are so close together. So the more points, the harder it is to edit. Not impossible, just harder. Uh, but otherwise, it's not too bad. Uh, so just kind of play around, figure out what you want to do. A lot of it, like I said, a lot of it's trial and error. Uh, sometimes you might think, oh, I got it down perfect, and then you'll try to do something new, and you just have to try. I like to keep a uh, 
starter starter one I like to keep two copies that way if I completely mess one copy up, uh, up I have a spare copy so I would just as you can see when I was looking down here to find you one that had a lot of uh, edit points uh, I drug one off over here you can copy paste or I do alt and then clicked it and then that created a copy for me so just kind of play around with it if you have any more questions on it uh, I can uh, try to help you with it um, if there's anything you want me to show you go ahead and let me know uh, e you can either message me or um, I've I do see some of the things you post on what your questions are so I will uh, do a tutorial as I'm able to so that's pretty much it uh, just let me know if you need have any more questions about it and I will help you best I can bye